My mind cleared. Well, it became as clear as it could after four days without drugs. My body was clean. But as the fog of drugs lifted, negative thoughts roared from the shadows. A lonely feeling nagged at me. I was on edge, worried about Aaron rushing in and ruining whatever this was. Emotions raced through me until I couldn't separate one from another. I felt rejected. I was alone. I was sober. Hey. Ryan said as he brought groceries in from the porch. You okay? I must not have looked okay, standing in a daze in the middle of his kitchen with a mug of coffee clenched in my hands. Why haven't you tried to sleep with me? I blurted out. Ryan didn't respond as he placed the brown bag of groceries onto the island. He brushed his hands together before leaning against it. Was I supposed to seduce you between the vomiting and the incessant sleep? Can't say I'm particularly interested in somnophilia. He chuckled and a smile followed his laughter. I tucked my hair behind my ears, my cheeks flushing hot. It never mattered to men before. Whether I was sick, sore, or tired, they used me. The bruises were healing on my body. I just needed them to heal from the surface of my heart. I'd never loved anything besides Coke. Not even myself. Come here, he whispered. I blinked at him. The insecurity rose. When I remained frozen in place, he stepped into me instead. He set the mug down before wrapping his strong arms around me. I dropped my head into his chest and let him hold me up. Why are you so nice to me, Ryan? You could have just taken me like every other man, hurt me like everyone else. His shirt muffled my words. Because I'd rather please than cause pain? If you didn't want me, I wasn't going to take anything. Why are you so damn consensual? I screamed. A laugh followed. Because you've had enough taken from you. He lifted my chin, leaned down, and kissed me. His strong hand wrapped around the back of my neck. Is this what you want? His words were low and throaty. Yes, I whispered. 